we work very closely with schools and it's not only the schools in terms of teachers, children, but uh, as a district officer, uh, our, our core function uh, right now is to support schools in terms of advice. Eh? Uh, as you, you may have uh, known that our, our position has slightly changed from being a senior education officer back then, now it's a senior education advisor. So our core role into the schools, the core function was, is to support advice and assist uh, the head of school in terms of monitoring the deliverable of the school. So we sort of bridge uh, the gap in terms of how school deliver uh, into and, and meet the expectation of uh, the ministry. And uh, one uh, component that we work closely with the key stakeholders of the school and one of the most key uh, stakeholders would be the school management committee. Uh, so I, I see this session as uh, uh, a way forward uh, where we should be able to get a working relationship on a better level, improved level, efficient in terms of how we utilize data. As you know, into the session and as day two, day three has gone, we actually saw how massive uh, the information on family sits, uh, but how to utilize it uh, through analysis and publication. Uh, that is where I'm really, you know, looking forward to uh, in terms of seeing that and using it back. Uh, in terms of consultation, school improvement, for instance, and getting the wider school community because we work with uh, the school management committee, we work with the parents' body, uh, we, we go out to the communities and we work also with the provincial uh, administrators, uh, those that work with the villages eh, in our rural communities. So to me it's exciting because it's not only collecting information, but uh, I really like the way forward, the direction to which this is going, that uh, in terms of alignment, you know, aligning it to what is expected at regional, international, uh, benchmarking, and also using that information uh, to relevant key stakeholders just to improve, for improvement purposes. Eh? Sincerely acknowledge uh, EGAP, uh, for providing this opportunity. Uh, for me, it's a, I've been spending, this is my sixth year, as an education advisor, officer, uh, working within the admin cadre of the ministry. This is the first time for me to be part of an education, Fiji education data training. And uh, the value of EGAP is bringing us together with the key uh, partners, Bureau of Stats, uh, and also our headquarters uh, where they do the the monitoring at a macro level uh, to sit and to look at ways. So yes, we sincerely acknowledge EGAP uh, for bringing it and you know standing in to support us into part two and part three of the information. Uh, I'm really looking forward and I must thank EGAP for uh, for pushing and driving the need to publicize the data. And uh, yes, the digest, statistical digest. Yes, I, I, I'm really looking forward and yes, thank you. That, that's everything that we value EGAP for coming in to support the ministry in terms of uh, moving forward with how we can use the data and information that we have.